Namaste, my friends. Today I'm going to discuss a very interesting question with you all. I'm going to discuss what is intelligence. Intelligence is normally thought of as smarts, cleverness, the ability to analyze uh, something, the ability to troubleshoot, the ability to uh, score well on exams perhaps, or how much someone knows, the amount of knowledge that they have accumulated and how well they can do um, in jeopardy or, or something of, of that nature, or perhaps the ability to recognize uh, patterns uh, such as uh, in various IQ tests. But that is not intelligence. Intelligence is the ability to comprehend at a glance via direct perception that which is. And the highest intelligence can be understood best by seeing how it operates in the realm of thought. So by that, I don't mean it is the intelligence or cleverness of thought. I mean intelligence is the understanding of thoughts via direct perception at a glance from moment to moment. So let me explain that a little bit more. Thoughts are taking place one after the other in our minds and normally they're very subtle and we are not much aware of our thinking mind and our feelings that are taking place and our reactions both hidden and obvious and subtle and gross that are in play. Medi meditation is the application of intelligence to comprehend from moment to moment what is happening within. Now if you attempt to do this, you will get an appreciation for what intelligence truly is. Because as you will attempt to grasp from moment to moment the thinking mind and understand it via direct perception, you will realize that the thoughts are too fast, too subtle, and they pile up one on top of each other. And you miss understanding a vast number of them. So I will give you a little tip to help you experience for yourself what is being said is intelligence and the highest intelligence. At first, pick a basic meditation technique to settle the mind down, to slow down its inertia and momentum a little bit. Whether your favorite meditation technique is watching your breath or repeating a mantra or listening to sounds or watching the rise and fall of your belly. Whatsoever your basic meditation technique is, use it for a period of 10 to 20 minutes to let the mind settle down. Once it slows down a little bit, now bring all of your energy together and apply it to understanding the thinking process from moment to moment directly. So as the thoughts are taking place, you're watching them closely, you will realize, you will realize the energy this requires. You will start to understand for yourself the depths of Kundalini, of energy, of meditation, of your potential, when you attempt to do this, when you, when you attempt to invoke this intelligence within you, which you have, 
This is a human potential. You may or may not have explored it. Here's your opportunity. So go ahead, allow the mind to settle down, and then as the thinking process moves from thought to thought, understand the entire story behind any given thought, all its implications, directly before the next thought occurs. Attempt it. Explore this. Find out if it is possible. For if you do explore this, you will discover something wonderful. You will discover how intelligent you truly can be. And this intelligence will then allow the mind to realize what mischief it is causing in your life. It will allow the mind to see for itself that it, by perpetuating desire, is prolonging suffering. Analysis will not help you in this case. You must see this activity taking place within and you must comprehend it as it is taking place and this observation and this understanding of what is taking place at a glance the entire story you will discover intelligence that will then take you on a journey to other dimensions which are not possible to enter without first bringing intelligence to the table. So I do hope you try this. If you have questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me on unmoldmatha.com. I will be happy to help you further in your journey. Thank you everybody. God bless you all.